Hi guys, it's Rumi the math person and I'll be going over question 277 on SOA exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Assume that you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. Losses under an insurance policy are exponentially distributed. Exponentially distributed with mean 4. The deductible is $1 for each loss. Calculate the median amount that the insurance pays a policyholder for a loss under the policy. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just find the median for just a regular distribution so that by definition it's going to be just the function, which we know the PDF is just 1 over 4, e to the negative t over 4, dt, this should equal 1 half. Because this is what the median is, median is just like the 50% of the probability, so then this would equal, this is just, this part is just the CDF, right, going from 0 to xm. So this is just a CDF of XM, which would just mean this is equal to 1 minus E to the negative XM over 4. And this is equal to half. So solving for XM, this is equal to 1 half equals E to the negative XM over 4. Taking the natural log, natural log equals, this is equal to XM equals, I'm going to bring the four, negative 4 to this side, negative 4, natural log of 1 half. If I plug that into my calculator, that's approximately equal to, so this is what the median amount would be if there is no deductible. The, we know the deductible is 1, right? So for example, if it costs $6, if the loss is 6, then and the deductible is 1, then the company owes 5. So it, the insurance company owes 5. Kind of the same thing. So if the loss is 2.77 and the deductible is 1, the company owes, only owes the amount over 1. So that's just equal to 1.77, which is our answer A. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!